Rescue Data and Repair, my name is Dr. Ben, happy welcome and within this video I will show you the nicest thermal cam for analyzing smartphone uh, logic boards, MacBook logic boards, whatever tablet, mod, uh, lo tablet logic boards on the market. Let's directly go for a cam which isn't modified by a macro lens at this point. This is really, really a good resolution for that. So what we do in this case is we add two macro lenses. So you can even add one, it's pretty okay. But here in this case, we just add two. And after we added the two macro lenses, we just add the adapter. You can almost see everything, every cap, every resistor, everything, okay? So it's uh, almost like a microscope. <laughs> This is a thermal cam which comes out of a house which is named DYT. It sits in China and they build cameras, thermal cameras for industrial use. Okay, so it's uh, always the same if you buy a thermal camera for analyzing a smartphone. Mostly the cams were uh, produced at a factory um, who builds cameras for industrial use, okay? And then uh, some other companies, like in this case, Kian Lee or um, Yaki Loon, Riva, whatever, come to them and say, we need a thermal cam to analyze uh, short circuits on logic boards for smartphones, tablets, MacBooks, whatever. So, and then they buy a camera and brand it. In this case, um, this is actual, the latest release of um, Kian Li um, with their brand Mega Idea and they call this cam now PCB Thermal Image Analyzer. So, this cam was already bought before by Riva and branded as Yukilon and sold by them for several years. So, I got my Yukilon I think about two years ago and uh, I did a little modification for that and for me this is the best, really the best camera on the market. So back in the days, we sold them as Yukilon uh, from Riva, but now they don't have uh, stock anymore at all. And Kian Lee with um, his brand Mega Idea bought a, um, a stock of these cameras, branded it as PCB Thermal Image Analyzer and sells them now. And if you modify the cam, you get the best thermal camera on the market in my opinion. It's crazy. So we just unbox this now and then I show you how to modify and we will see how it looks like if we have a short on the logic board, okay? And now we see the PCBA thermal image analyzer. Um, you got a little book. I will tell you something about that because there's written a whole of in it. <laughs> and now we can see the camera, okay? So this is the camera head. In the camera head, we have the thermal ima imaging unit. Here we can um, zoom in and zoom out. And here we have our serial number. So this is the head of the camera, the most important point, but there are other important things. Here is the head holder. So here we can fix the head in and here is the brand, in this case, Mega Idea. You get exactly the same camera branded by Yukilon or you get it directly at the manufacturer DYT, but it's hard to get in contact with them and you don't save much money if you buy directly there. So what is included too is a USB-C cable, some screws, a screwdriver and what's pretty important too, the button plate. Why do we need all this? Why do we need all this? I will show that to you. For use this amazing, really amazing cam and I get no money for this video. It's, it's my honest opinion and you know me. I always say my personal opinion about things. So if they are good in my opinion or not. So we can now mount this stand here or we can mount it here. That's up to you. You have two different um, possibilities um, which you can choose for mounting this. The camera stand is mounted now so we have one 
um, one screw here which we can fix and open for getting up higher and lower. Here we have a second possibility to go up higher and lower. And here we have the possibility to mount the camera itself, the head unit of the camera. So what's pretty nice is we can really move in a bright angle here to go in and out. So this is perfect if you analyze big logic boards like a MacBook logic board. You can move the angle, you have to open the screw, then you can um, change the angle of the, of the head unit, of the cam itself. I never used this, I never used this. I only use this function and for sure what, what I always use is um, just um, the function for going up and going down or here the fast function for going up and going down. So now I want to show you how the cam would work without a modification. So it comes straight out of the box. You need to install a software. The software um, you can find in the description of the video. We will show you a link. It's important that you use this software because if you have a Ukilon or if you buy Ukilon, so a Riva branded, uh, Riva branded DYT cam, you need another software or it looks exactly the same, but it doesn't work with the serial ranges of Kian Lee. So um, we give you two links, Tim, is this okay? Two links in the description of the video, one time for the uh, Riva Ukilon cam and one time for the PCBA uh, uh, thermal image uh, analyzer from um, Kian Lee Mega idea. Exactly the same cam, but because they have different serial numbers, you need different softwares. They are exactly the same from the look, but they have um, another detection for the serials. So now we just connect the cam to the PC. It's a standard Windows driver. So if you connect the first time, it will install um, without doing anything. After that, you need to download the software, install the software. It's just one, um, one exe file and it's done. And then you need to start the thermal analyzer software. And the software looks like this. In every case, even if you use the Ukilon Reva or if you use the um, Kian Lee cam. So if we don't have a modification and we go under the thermal cam. So what's pretty important is that you can zoom in and zoom out and you can sharp the image by just rotating here. Okay, so you can get it sharp like this. Always, if you work with a thermal cam and want to see more without uh, doing a lot of things, it's just like heating up the board one time, okay? I just adjust my temperatures and airflow. So, and I heat the board up one time. So, here you can see, that's the image now if the cam is not modified. So this is a full shorted logic board um, out of an iPhone 13 Pro. So um, you won't see a cap lighting up, but you see a point at the main power IC. And I want to show you how it looks if you use it without a modification. So if you use this thermal cam without a modification, you can see it exactly like this, okay? And for a cam which isn't modified by a macro lens at this point, this is really, really a good resolution for that. So if you see, so we don't have a cap lighting up, so it's straight power. I see this board had um, the problem that somebody injected 18 volts directly into the board. So it's dead. So it's dead. Yeah. So. Main power IC is lighting up. So now we can modify the cam to get a much more better result. It's perfect at moment or it's really good at moment, but we can do it much better. So you can use a macro lens. You get this macro lens like the cam um, at smartparts.com. If you buy the cam, 
you always get a macro lens and a 3D printed adapter to that. We give you a link to the STL file so you can download that and you can print that adapter by yourself. So if you buy the camera anywhere else or you have the camera and you need an adapter, we give you a link. So you can just print that if you have a 3D printer. What we do in this case is we add two macro lenses. So you can even add one, it's pretty okay. But here in this case, we just add two. And after we added the two macro lenses, we just add the adapter. So the adapter fixes the macro lenses so it can't, it can't fall down or something like that. And now you can see we have to use again the function and the resolution now much it's much clearer. So that is what I wanted to say. If we now just heat the board up a little bit, you can almost see everything, every cap, every resistor, everything. Okay. So it's uh, almost like a microscope. <laughs> so, um, and if we just apply voltage to that board now, just let me connect here. So, because this is a short at the main power IC and we don't have a small cap lighting up a, a 01005 or something like that. For you in the video, it could be that you say, oh, there, there isn't much difference. But um, here I have the big, uh, the big image in front of me, the big screen of the PC and it's, you see it much, much better. So you can see every component of the board if you go through and if you, um, if uh, anything is unsharp, you can just use that function here and it gets sharp. So that's really, have a look. That's perfect. And the camera itself, the, the, the really big advantage is that I can move it here in and out. And if I have a big logic board, like a MacBook logic board, and I'm searching something on the logic board, yeah, I just can, I can move it here. Okay. And um, I can even move it like that. That's really a big advantage. And I can always go up and down. So, and if I go closer here, so I can even go closer like this. Let us go closer. Now we are really close to the logic board and even we can just turn the ring here and we are sharp again. So that's a really big advantage if you are looking at a, at a region on the board and you want to go down to that and have an exactly look. This is really a thing which in my opinion no other cam has. So by, at all the other cams you need to go up and down. Okay, you can modify a seek and you can use that with your smartphone. But then you always need to use it with your smart, uh, smartphone. You need to connect it with a cable. And I worked with seek several years and always the problem after a time, the cable break or whatever. And I need to add um, a, a tablet or a smartphone into a stand. And it's always a thing I, I need to print uh, things and I, I, I need to build something by myself. Here you get a complete ready solution. The only thing you need to do to get a perfect result is adding an adapter which you can print out by yourself without any issues, adding one or two macro lenses like you want and you have the perfect cam. So I was even using a camera of Fleur. So the Fleur cam, the, the, the Fleur cam for analyzing smartphone logic boards took me about 3000 euros. That's crazy. That's crazy. So uh, this camera is about 600 euro. I, I don't have the exact price in my head. You can have a look at smartpartstar.com. There you can find it. We have listed the camera as Yukilon. If we have Riva Yukilon in stock, we send this out. If we have the Kianli in stock, we send this out. Always you can download the right software on the website and it, and it is exactly the same camera. So that is pretty important. It's DYT. Branded one time by Riva, branded one time by Kian Lee. In my opinion, the best, really the best thermal imager for analyzing smartphone, tablet and MacBook logic boards on the market. And the price is amazing. If we compare 
the Yukilun or uh, the Qianli PCBA thermal image, image analyzer to the Seek because many people say, oh, the Seek is the best camera on the market or it's the cheapest solution for a thermal cam for use to analyze smartphones, tablets, and MacBook logic, what's whatever. Mm, you are not right. This one is the better solution. Why? We have listed this camera here in our web shop at 649 euro, including macro lens, including the macro lens adapter, including the software, and you can use it with your PC. You don't need a smartphone, okay? So, and if we compare that to the cheapest price on Amazon for the Seek Compact Pro, we are at 579 euro and 90 cent. Then we only have the Seek. So, we need a smartphone, which we can work with, just take, or this is, um, this is the cam for Android USB-C. So for, uh, for iPhone with uh, Lightning, you are about 584 euro, okay? This is the cheaper version, the Android version, 579. Then you need a cheap Android phone, about 100 or 120 euro, I think. And then you are more expensive than the Yukilo. Then you say, okay, I have a smartphone, yes, but then you need to buy a stand you need to build an adapter for the stand or to buy an adapter for the stand or you need to buy a stand with a ready adapter for um, clicking your smartphone in like ever and you have the problem that you can renew the cable if you use it every day every month you can use a new cable about 10 euro so and you need to buy the macro lenses macro lens if you buy it in china with shipping slow shipping and cheap shipping about 35 euro or 40 us dollars so it's more expensive than the ukilon than the ukilon with macro lens modification with the software you can use on the pc with a stand with everything so that's the most cheapest and best if you compare the price to what can the camera do that's the best on the market trust dr ben i'm out goodbye